Global Orchestra, even when it was very early on in its history, started this program back in the 1950s uh, that spanned 30 years to commission and then world premiere and record some of the most famous composers alive. And this is something you would never expect to come from Louisville, Kentucky. It's not a very big city. It's not a city that, that people would have associated with a project like this. This is a city where people want things that are exciting and new. Uh, they want people to do creative projects. When I was growing up in, in San Francisco, my parents took me to go see an orchestra concert the very first time I was nine years old. I'd never seen a live orchestra in my life. I went to this concert and from the first notes, I could not believe what I was hearing, what I was seeing. I decided five minutes into this concert, I will be a conductor, I must be a conductor. I, I like combining styles, actually not, not unlike uh, Mahler. You know, Mahler has a style that certainly you hear it and you think, that's Mahler. But he's referencing things that he heard his whole life. I try and learn from that. So I love all this, this music from around the world, this popular music and, and, and musical styles that are not classical. How can I use that and, and integrate it, but still be myself? And I, I recognize that there are so many different styles and genres of music that, that people feel are distinct and, and a lot of times people don't move between these, they stay in one. But the underlying language of music is universal. The, the way music works is to connect people regardless of where they come from, what they already know, everyone is able to understand it. Now you may have some personal tastes and preferences, but my role as, as a musician in this century is to serve everyone. And I recognize that, okay, if the universal language really is music, and I'm leading a very large musical institution, then my responsibility is to provide music that reaches the whole population. That's really my job. As a musician, I couldn't live without playing jazz, without playing rock shows, and of course without playing classical. And one of the reasons I, I chose some Brahms, actually, for the Rock and Roll Festival is that Brahms was using Hungarian folk music in this case. It's kind of a gypsy folk music that he was using in his own work. It's not just pure Brahms, it also comes from popular music. It's integrated in. So there's hundreds of years of history like that of, of bringing together styles.